Hello YouTubers, it is Friday the 25th of March 2022 and you'll probably be wondering what the hell am I wearing? Um, this is meant to be um, the Blues Brothers uh, Trilby and Glasses because we thought uh, that today is wear a hat day. No, it's tomorrow. Oops, face plant. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. So I'll just uh, let my mum know. Uh, that's uh, tomorrow. Um, uh, I've treated myself uh, because I did an IOU. Um, to two new shirts. Uh, one. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Missing cat, black and white. Uh, Dexter uh, was last seen on the meadows on the morning of twenty fourth. Uh, so that was yesterday. Have you seen him? Um, since or know anything about his whereabouts. If you have any information, please call. Duh, 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 duh. Aw, poor cat. I would, but who just with us? And that obviously says the same thing. Okay, I'm getting distracted as usual. So, yeah. Um, so, we're bimbos. So, it's wear a hat day tomorrow. So that's gonna be fun. Um, which, in fact, we're actually going out tomorrow. We're going out tomorrow night uh, to the uh, to the big club on Jubilee Road. We call it the big club, um, the social club. Yeah. So we're going there tomorrow night because it's a it's a good group called T Rocks, which is like T Rex, but it's T Rocks. So like 70s, 80s, that kind of thing. And I'm going to be wearing this purple... Um, costume that I've never ever worn. Well, I did try it I did try it once. But I will wear it tomorrow night. It's a Austin Powers outfit. Yeah, baby! So, <laughs> I'm going to wear that. Actually, I might even wear the glasses. Even though the glasses didn't go, go with it, but I might uh, have the glasses. But I'm bringing my glasses with me, so... I don't really want to wear glasses. Mm, I have to decide on uh, tomorrow night uh, what to do. And then spice it up a little bit by putting feathers on us and make us all sparkly because that's what it was back in the 70s 80s i wouldn't know I, I wasn't even born until 99 Run! <laughs> um but yeah so all is good uh, see my dad today. He's gave us what was it? A PlayStation 2 and the games and apparently some books. I'm like, okay, thanks. I mean he doesn't know this. This might sound spiteful, but I'm gonna take the PS2 and the games along the DVDs that I am going to get rid of to cash converters because apparently you can get more with cash converters than CEX so so I know that means getting rid of his present but I'm not doing it through spite it's because I wanted to make him happy by saying, oh, yes, I'll, I'll have that. Um, but nowadays I'm not really into games. So I think I might have to get rid of my 
all of my Nintendo DS's, including my X's one, the pink one. I have to get rid of that, because again, too many memories. So that's the only other thing I have got, along with the wand. Um, I'm keeping the wand until I find some, something similar uh, to it, and then I'll get rid of it. Um, and that's it. That's everything. Uh, I've got nothing else. Um, so yeah, get rid of the DVDs, the games, the PS2, and possibly my Nintendo DS's, like from original, like the Nintendo DS Lite, to the I, uh, Nintendo DSi, and then the 3DS. I need to get rid of them, so that's four DS's. Because I've got two Nintendo DS lights. I've got a white one that looks damaged. And then a pink one that's still in its case. Um, that, um, that she gave me. Um, and I actually, to be honest, I actually forgot that I still had it after we broke up. And then when I looked, I thought, crap, still got it. <laughs> So, I need to get rid of them. Because I'm not really into games now. I don't know. Ever since me and her split up, I'm not really into games as much. I might play the odd occasional, say, board games, like Star Trek Monopoly, Battleship. Actually, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Snakes and Ladders. I will play more like board games than digital games. I don't know, I think my taste is changing when it comes to games. So I still like playing games, it's just not the digital ones now, it's 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 a thing with me, I kind of go in through, I go through a phase where my taste changes and I'm like Oh, actually, no, I don't want that anymore. I prefer to do this. I mean, I love my games, don't get me wrong. But it's mainly board games I like. But it'd be occasionally that I would play them. Or if someone goes, oh, do you want to play this game? And I'd be like, yeah, of course. If it's a miserable day. Or if it's really cold. If it's sunny like this, I'd be like, nah, I want to do something else. I want to go out somewhere, say crazy golf uh, outside or the pirate quest that's near Timeout. I'd rather do that than play a board game where there's a beautiful day outside. Um, but that's me. At least it's me now. Um, but never mind. Um, I'll get there. So I need to get rid of them. So the DVDs and Nintendo DS's, if I can find them, because I did have all four of them in my bedroom. So I presume they might be in the loft, in the suitcase, to my knowledge. I even still got the chargers, the original Nintendo DS charger and the new Nintendo DS charger. I don't think I'll go into them kind of games again. Like, try and fork out money for the Nintendo DS Switch. Not DS Switch. Yeah, Nintendo Switch, sorry. Because I must admit, I did enjoy that. The, the Switch. Um, and that was when I was playing with a friend of mine, uh, Daniel. And that's why I was like... Oh, I really like the I like the Nintendo Switch. But as I'm getting older, I'm like thinking to myself, one, where will I put it? Two, how big is the house? And three, how often will I play it? Because I get bored quite easily sometimes. 
sometimes. I, I had to revert to sometimes. Um, so I don't think I could thingy. Part two. Um, yeah, it, it stopped recording for some bizarre reason, but hey ho, never mind. Uh, obviously, the, if you were wondering why I was waving, I was wa- waving to my other dad, my stepdad. He comes occasionally. So he's heading up to ours. What for? I have no idea, but hey ho. Never mind, I'm like, okay. Um, anywho, I have no idea how long I've been on video for, so I'm going to try and cut it short to the best of my ability. I'm sure I was only on the video for 10, maybe 13 minutes. I don't know, I can't remember. <laughs> um, so yeah. Did I have it? No, I've got no message. Um, so yeah, tomorrow, club, um, CT rocks. Um, let's see what happens, really. Um, all is well. Um, So yeah, um, can't think of anything at the moment. Oh yeah, so I'm going to get rid of PlayStation 2, the games, and the DVDs that I want to get rid of. The the videos that I've got a double lot of, like Lila and Star Trek Deep Space Nine and Ice Age, I'm going to pop them in a bit because... No one watches videos um, anymore, which I think is a shame, but um, no one watches videos anymore. I mean, it's the same with DVDs. Um, DVDs are more popular, but then you've got Netflix, Disney Plus, Amazon Prime, that kind of thing, and people will rather stream. Um, a movie or series than to buy a DVD. So I'm just wondering when the when or if or when DVDs become kaput. If uh, if that's the case when it comes to streaming. See, I don't like that. I mean, I love Netflix, don't get me wrong, because you get a variety on Netflix. The only annoying thing on Netflix is, for example, say you wanted to watch Once Upon a Time, and it was there for, like, a certain amount of date. Say, I don't know. Say it's on now. Like, it's on Netflix now, for example. I know it's not, but say if it's on now. And it will disappear about, say, say my birthday, my 23rd birthday, uh, which is actually not very long. And you're up to season, say, three out of eight. By the time you try and get through them, you'll probably hit season six or season seven, depending on how fast you can actually watch Once Upon a Time. And say my birthday hits, and then you, and you're like, oh, I can't wait to watch season eight, or season seven, or whatever episode you're up to, going, oh, I'm so engrossed, and then it's like, but where the hell is it? Like, where is it? And you try and find it, and, and you get so many, like, 
other options. It's like, no, this is not what I want. Like, for example, say Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um, because that's a film. And you'll be like, well, that's not the same thing. So that's where Netflix gets us frustrated. Is, um, that can actually happen. I don't know with Disney Plus or Amazon Prime. I have no idea with them too. I've never subscribed to them. Because on Disney Plus you got, like, Monsters at Work. Uh, that WandaVision... Which is weird. Um, and on Amazon Prime, you've got things like Star Trek Picard uh, and whatever. It's like, do you really have to stream this? Um, can't you just put it on a normal television? But a lot of people stream nowadays, so never mind. Um, I mean, it's not really the end of the world. Not really. So, yeah. I mean, I do enjoy Netflix. I mean, there's one documentary. I mentioned this yesterday at Spectrum. It's so funny. It's this documentary come comedy. It's called Death um, of 2020. And basically, they take the absolute piss out of um, the coronavirus it is just so funny because of the amount of negativity that we had throughout the two years uh, of COVID this, COVID that uh, rising of cases, people dying uh, trying to find a vaccine and that kind of thing, it really put us down and um, after watching that documentary called Death of 2020 I was in hysterics. They took the absolute piss out of COVID-19. I was in hysterics. I felt like I was going to cry on the floor and die. (laughs) That's how bad, that's how crazy it was. Because even though it was a real thing, um, and it was like one of them things, oh, um, like, oh, oh, this is so sad about uh, um, about people getting the coronavirus and that. But they took the absolute piss and I'm just like, oh my god, this is absolutely hilarious because you get actors like Samuel L. Jackson. Now, now he is absolutely funny. Sometimes he is, sometimes he's not. Um, but once he comes out with sarcasm or a joke, you just instantly just go, oh my god, that is so funny. It was bad, but it was funny. That kind of thing. I love it. I know a lot of people will be like, how is that even funny? How is that even funny? Like, it's out there, it's killing people, blah, blah, blah. Especially one person in particular. Um, We'll probably say things like that. I'll be like, it's my sense of humour. Everyone's got a different sense of humour. I will find it hilarious where other people will be like, eh? Can't you see it's killing people, blah, blah, blah. Um, but me, I just find it hilarious. That's me, that's my... I call it my wicked sense of humour. Which reminds me... This this, this, it, this reminds me of something. Um, Spectrum is thinking of doing another creative writing uh, performance piece thing. Um... But this time, obviously, at Northern Stage. That's where we're obviously now based. And we've been based there for three weeks now? Yeah, three weeks. And, um... You're slowing down, Hooch. Oh, shit, I didn't give you water. Friggin' hell. I should have come prepared. Right, Hooch, um... We'll cut your walk. I didn't realise. Yeah, I'll cut your walk. Sorry, Hooch. This is animal neglect on film. I shouldn't really laugh, but it is. 
I just didn't bring any water and I didn't expect it to be this hot, but oops. I should have come prepared. Animal neglect. Yeah, animal neglect on film. Kieran Harlan exposed. I might actually call it that, Kieran Harlan exposed. I'll think about it. Anyways, so we're hopefully going to do another performance. But again, to do with poetry, creative writing, storytelling, that kind of thing. But instead of going roses are red, violets are blue, um, all of this thing makes me think of you. I don't know how it goes. Anyways, instead of doing it that way, we're actually going to do an actual play but using poetry, if that makes any sense. So, for example, I don't know. I have a shopping list. Yeah, I have a shopping list. Um, let green grass grow. Um, but if nothing goes... If nothing goes... Then I... Then I can get fit and maybe do my bit. That's my shopping list. Uh, so it's more like that. Hooch, I wish you didn't do that around my legs. Honestly, I'm going to trip over one day and fall flat on my face. And it'd be like, uh, people, just to warn you, not to not to laugh at me I was just falling on my face it really hurts <laughs> I can just imagine everyone would be like oh my god are you okay or they'd be like oh my god that was so hilarious and I'd be like no it wasn't even funny <laughs> I was just, just falling flat on my face um, it is hooch to blame <laughs> just blame it on the hooch don't blame it on sunshine don't blame it on the moonlight don't blame it on good time blame it on the hooch <laughs> Who <laughs> just is like, uh, going away now, goodbye. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to do a performance like that. And we're going to make it a comedy. Now, I know one of us said do a documentary. I thought, oh, that would be interesting doing a documentary. We've never done a documentary before. But it would be really hard to do a documentary on stage. Because a documentary is mainly getting it filmed, really. So it'd be very difficult to do documentary on stage. But if we do a comedy, because of uh, because of um, what's been happening for two and a half years, um, or what has happened within the two years with COVID, we want to make things bright again. We want to. Um, uplift people's spirits, that kind of thing. And that's why most of us agreed, except one, most of us agreed saying we should do a comedy. We should definitely do a comedy uh, because it's, it's going to be funny and stuff like that. Because I don't think, I can't really see us doing another serious play or another science fiction play. I mean, the science fiction play that we did was kind of funny, uh, Xenos Falls. It was kind of fa funny, but it was more of a romance story, if that makes any sense. Um, but if we want, but we were like, we had so many options. We could either do a serious one, uh, a different kind of genre one. Or, or or just agree with everyone and say, yeah, we'll do a comedy one. And I thought, I'd rather do a comedy one than a serious one because we've had too much seriousness about COVID-19 and Omicron and cases rising and uh, uh, people get your vaccines, hands, space, hands, hands, face, space. What was it? Yeah. That kind of thing. 
we've had too much seriousness. We had seri- seriousness for two years. And this is why I agreed with all of them saying, yeah, we should definitely do a comedy. A comedy will lift people up more than the happiness project. The happiness project might make them smile, give them a bit of a giggle, but if we do a comedy, it will bring them out more and be like, oh my God, that is so funny, that kind of thing. So we want to get people back into the back into the spirit of fun, get back into the spirit of, uh, let's go crazy, let's get nuts. Actually saying that, yesterday I had a skinny bar, which I did not realize, I actually thought it was an orange flavor, and it, no, it was not an orange flavor, it was a peanut and nugget flavor. I ate it, I ate it, but I had to drown myself with blackcurrant juice. <laughs> so uh, I have to tell myself, if I see an orange packet like that, don't go for it. Anyways. Uh, so yeah, we're hopefully going to do a comedy. And I've already thought of a character. I haven't thought of his name yet. But my character is going to be the villain of the story. I haven't been a villain for... Oh, a long time. But I've never been a villain um, at Spectrum. I guess you can say I kind of was a villain in Love to Hate, even though technically Mike uh, drank the hate potion, so he hated everything. So he kind of became a, I suppose, a villain, but not. He didn't stay a villain for very long. <laughs> Um, but I've never been an actual villain. I've only been a villain in Toy Story Ever Told that got deleted. Um, I've been a villain in Nice Coffee Now Poisonous, which was a script that Esper made. And I was this top-hatted murderer who, uh, who would poison people's coffee and be like, here you go. And he would drink his coffee that has got no poison to make it look like, to make it not look suspicious, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna be yet another villain. But instead of uh, a serious villain, like I'm gonna kill you, give me all your money and stuff like that. I'm gonna be one of those villains, like really funny villains, like Dr. Evil or the other villain in Looney Tunes uh, back in action, uh, where he goes, uh, um, I'm going to connect the Argus Ray, and once it's complete, uh, it will transform everyone but me into a monkey. Or Yzma. Pull the lever, crunk. Wrong lever! Why do we even have that lever? Anyways, catch you later, YouTubers. Live long and prosper, and see you whenever. Bye!